Good afternoon. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, posted um, a video and even just on Facebook. Um, I've used this time to um, heal. Um, I've had uh, surgery in my uh, right femur um, just to um, strengthen my um, bones um, just for, so I, they wouldn't uh, fear that if I fell, I, I, they couldn't put me back together again. Uh, so now if I fall, at least they can put me back together again. <laughs> um, but that has been happening, and so I'm gaining strength, um, thankfully. And my aunt has been here helping me, and I love her dearly. Um, I wanted to give you a little update. Um, I will, um, we, we've been, you know, determining uh, what lies ahead and really needed some clear answers uh, from the Lord uh, because since um, the cancer had gone into my bones and into my liver and ovary, um, we just weren't you know, really sure what we were looking at. Um, obviously, only the Father counts our days, and we, we recognize that and honor that. Um, but also, just to statistically, you know, to see what um, happens out there, you know, in, um, in the world when it comes to this type of cancer, uh, breast cancer that's metastasized. And um, so when we talked with the oncologist initially, you know, she said, well, if you do nothing, um, it is, you're looking at about six to nine months. And, um, and then we had to determine what type of breast cancer it was, if it had switched uh, from when I had initially had it, and it can. But it had not, um, so we've recently found out about that. And a new um, type of chemotherapy that they offer is in a pill format. And so um, we really needed a clear answer from the Lord and just prayed fervently for that and had asked several others to pray with us. Um, and so we met with the oncologist and um, she showed us this little a uh, bell curve, you know, graph, and um, people who have taken this particular chemo pill, and actually the the median number of people um, who, uh, as far as longevity, um, they lived about three years, and this was, uh, I mean, that's a pretty sizable difference. And as she said to me, you know, you're young, so this is, um, and you're healthy. Otherwise, other than the cancer, you're actually very healthy. So she said it could be more. Now it could be, you know, the chemo doesn't take and it would be less. Um, apparently, I wouldn't lose my hair. I guess that's one of the nice perks of this. Um, I was willing to go there if we needed to do that. <clears throat> but um, that's not part of it, and I guess the, the rest of the symptoms are not as harsh. So um, that is the route that I believe um, the Lord is leading us towards, and that's the route we've chosen. So I'll be starting uh, chemo this next week in pill format. I'll be um, also undergoing radiation. Um, they're going to use the negative effects of that, um, which makes bones more fibrous. Um, that's a negative side effect of um, radiation. They're going to use it for me as positive. So I'll be undergoing that as well. Um, 
I'm not sure if another surgery will take place. Uh, that's something to prayerfully consider later. But um, I wanted to at least give you an update. It's too much to type out, and I'm a little tired. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, I'll just send a video. Um, I, I found it amazing, though, that... Um, it's interesting the um, the mindset you get in uh, when you're looking at months, you know, of your life versus uh, even years. There's still an urgency. <clears throat> there is an urgency, but now there is a. Um, more of the Lord stating, you know, just when you think you haven't figured out, you really don't. <laughs> he keeps you guessing. But he said, Landra, how about I live my life through you? Just to live through you. And we'll live Keep living, and I will tell you when I'm done. Because, I mean, theoretically, you know, with advances in medicine or whatever, I mean, I could do this for who knows how many years, you know. And it's really none of our business. But he's showing me it's truly his business. And he will feed me daily. And if I must partake of what he has for me in medical science, if I must partake of that every day, chemo every day, that's what I'll do. Um... If I um, am on a walker for the days of my life, then that's what I will do. Um, I did not design this Lord. I did not plan him out. He designed me. And he planned me. He planned out every day. He planned out the purpose for every day. It's really his life. And I want to allow him to live it. And if I am sick, then it is he who is sick with me. He does all this with me. But he has crucified everything. I am hidden with him. And if his blood covers everything, and I am hidden with him, then nothing can touch me. I am in the perfect position. Um, there's more to be said about that, and I'll, I'll say it later. Um, but he's doing a new thing. Uh, I will tell you, I'm 47. And in June, on my 47th birthday, he talked to me about 47. And he said, Landra, this year, the seventh Shabbat, Sabbath rest, seven year, will be
will be a rest and I will teach you to rest with me like you have never known. Because I am doing something new in the eighth. Newness. In the eighth year. 48. Um, and even today I was looking at my journal with my friend. And uh, one year ago, uh, near that date of diagnosis, about three weeks close to that date of diagnosis, he gave, he, he gave me a dream. I dreamt. Uh, my legs would be in pain. I, um, I would face chemo again. Uh, it was pretty amazing. And uh, she and I read that today. Um, I'll reveal more of that to you later, but uh, nothing surprises our Lord, nothing. He told me. So this is what we're doing. I just wanted to give you an update. I'm probably going to go take a nap now. But I love you, and I'll talk to you later.